Hello everyone, time for another update. I've not even been in this workshop a year yet, but I've done lots of changes. So I made these shutters and they work great, but I built them in the summer when the sun was quite bright. So these days, most times I'm actually filming, I take them off the windows. So I built it at the beginning of the year and the time I got in here, it was spring and not too bad temperature wise, but now it's getting cold. And what I have is this little gas heater that runs off these little gas camping cylinders. I bought some last year and you can get them for about a pound a cylinder. Everything's got up in price now, but it's pretty easy to use. And because it's fully insulated in here, it warms it up in here in about 15 minutes. The temperature can be adjusted on this, so I normally turn it down to its lowest setting, just stick it on the floor and have it ticking away. But I think this is going to keep me nice and warm in here in the winter, so I should be fine out here. I'll put a link to this thing down below because they're pretty cheap and I think they work pretty well. What I've also added is an air vent into the floor so I don't die, but I'd recommend getting a carbon monoxide monitor as well. So another big change I've made in here is made this mobile workbench. Now, the other workbench has moved into the house and I'm gonna show you that in a bit, so hold tight. But I think having everything in drawers under here is really working great for me. And being able to move the bench around, obviously here, I can be stand behind it and talk to you and demonstrate, that's just great. If I need more room, I can push it into a corner or against the wall, so it's really working well for me. On the new tools front, since I spoke to you last, I got this separator, which is working out really well for me because it's such a low profile thing compared to my other one. The other one would never fit under the bench. Um, so you've got quite a big capacity in here. It seems really well built and I just love it being able to go under a bench and not taking up floor space. So I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, another new thing I got is some new ear defenders. Now, you probably see me wear these ones in pretty much every video. I love them. I love listening to the radio or podcasts while I work. They're great. And I go for these over-ear ones because I never get on with the in-ear ones. I think I've got funny-shaped ears. No comments, please. Anyway, they always pop out. But as the tunes have sent me their new ones, and they have these little bits that hook around your ear. So I don't think these will fall out of my ear. And also, without having the headband, they won't interfere with your face mask or your glasses. The case also charges them, which is great, because with these small ones, I always forget to charge them every night. And with this, you just put them back in the case and then they're charged the next day. So Isis Tunes have sent me these to try and I've only put them on just to test them. I've not actually used them in the workshop yet, but I will put a link to these down below as well. The other bit of storage I sorted out was under the drill or a stand for the drill and storage under it. So I think really with the bench and this, what I've really tried to do is get storage under things that already exist as much as possible. And it's really freed up the space in here. I've definitely tried to go for a more minimalistic approach this time rather than stuff everywhere. It just gives me more room to work and to film and it seems to work well for me. So I've definitely had a busy year building things. Built this workshop in the beginning of the year. Fantastic, so glad to get out of the tent and be warm. But I also built a shed. Personally, I really like having a workshop and then a separate storage space to keep all the junk in. Maybe that's because I do YouTube, so I'm filming and want to keep it separate. And if I didn't, maybe I just want one big space. But for me, this works really well. Also, I had all the junk in the house, so it's so nice to get it out of there. Again, more about that in a bit. So all the junk is out of the house, but unfortunately this has turned into a bit of a dumping ground. I can barely get in here and it's only a few months old. I'm very ashamed to show you this, but I've just created so much scraps of wood, especially this year with building a workshop and a shed. I've got so many off cuts and I'm too mean to throw them away. But over the next year, I'm gonna try and buy as little wood as possible and just try and use up bits I've got. I've got bits of pallet, bits of sheet goods. Oh, it's just a disaster. But at least now everything's in one place and I can sort it out. 
So initially I was going to buy a shed because they're so cheap. I could have probably got a metal shed, which seems the cheapest option, for around £500. But then this company contacted me about supplying some roofing and then I thought, mm, I reckon I can build it for under a thousand pounds with that roofing. So that's what I did. And I'm really glad I did because I've got something to my spec and it's future proofed a bit. I had a double glazing unit. So I've got a window in here. Obviously with the studs and the breathable membrane, if I want to in the future, I can insulate the walls, uh, put some internal cladding in, and this would be a great little garden office but I'm thinking if I can get rid of some of this junk, it would be an amazing turning room. Get a lathe in here. I can still use it for some storage. I've just got to maybe get rid of half the stuff I own. Back earlier in the year, just after I built the workshop, so before this shed even existed, Bosch came to see me with a whole film crew. I think I mentioned it before. Two camera operators, sound guy, director, lighting, it was all very exciting and they came and filmed two projects in one day and I've been waiting for them to put the videos up and they're finally up on YouTube. You can tell how old the videos are because the workshop was a different colour back then. So the two projects I built were this little charging drill storage station and I was using it in here for a bit but then I got the drawers and decided to get rid of it and the other thing was a console table, which herringbone pattern. And I revisited that when I made a coffee table for the challenge I did on the podcast I co-host with Keith from Rag and Bone Brown. I'll put a link to the podcast below if you don't listen to it already. It's very good, if I do say so myself. And we've got some interesting stuff coming up just before Christmas. So I'll stick links to both these Bosch videos down below, along with the heater and the dust extractor and the isotunes and things for you to check out. It was definitely interesting with working with some professionals and seeing how things should be shot. So I've mentioned it a couple of times now, things I've done in the house and what's been holding me back doing things is the amount of junk that was in the house. So now I've got the shed, I could actually get on with it. And I've been working on the kitchen. With all the wood and other bits out of the kitchen, I could actually do a little facelift in here. So what I did, I took down my old horrible kitchen cabinets, painted the wall and put some shelves up. And then I could get all my bits and bobs on the shelves. And yeah, I'm really inspired to be in here now. So I've got a kitchen island and you might recognize this because this is my workbench. I sanded it down and refinished it with some food safe oil. So now I've got a work surface in the middle. Now recently I've done quite a lot of cooking related videos. I made some toast tongs and pizza peel and I filmed those in my mum's kitchen. And I got so much positive feedback about doing more cooking stuff. And it really inspired me. I was a chef for 20 years, I loved cooking, but I never enjoyed cooking in this kitchen because it was such a state. So I thought, yeah, I cook every week, or obviously every day, but I do interesting things at least once a week. Why not film it? So I've started a new channel, Kitchen Ramblings, and I've got my first video up where I make some mince pies. So I'm thinking I'll probably be able to film a video a week because I'm cooking anyway. It's, uh, well, I'm going to lie here. Say it's hardly any more work just to have the camera on, but that is totally not true. But it would be something fun for me to do. So if you're interested in watching me doing some cookery, then I will put a link to the channel up above and down below, and I'd really appreciate you checking it out. Uh, there'll be a new video coming out soon, and I'm gonna try and do one every week, as I say. And uh, I'm quite excited to get back into cooking, and doing the channel will inspire me to do more interesting things than um, living off beans on toast every night. So, so far, I've only filmed one video that's up and I've not really told anyone about it until now. But it's amazing the crossover between filming a woodworking video and a cooking video. I suppose they're both making things. They're both working on a workbench. They're very uh, similar to do. So it's not been a huge struggle to do this new channel. Anyway, uh, I'd appreciate if you check it out. 
and I hope you will enjoy it. At the moment, I'm making myself some bread. I'm not filming this. Well, again, that's obviously a lie. I am filming it because I'm talking to you. But this is not a video for the new channel. This is just so I've got some bread for my dinner. But there will be some videos about bread in the future because it's one of my favorite things to make. So I think that's all I've got for this update. It's been long overdue, so I've probably forgotten some things, but yeah, I think quite a lot has changed since I saw you last. Definitely lots of links under the video for you to click this time, all the Bosch stuff, my new channel, the things I've got for the workshop. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you to my patrons, and I'll speak to you all soon.